Good morning, y'all. Okay. So, <laughs> Kilo, stop. Yeah, say good morning. Say good morning. So, I think I'm probably going into labor right now, but it's the beginning. So, we're going to try to pour. Yes, I know. So many people are mad at me right now. We're going to pour some resin oceans, and I'm going to show you what I got here. Whew. Yeah, I think I'm going into labor. <coughs> Wait, why does this look like this? Is there a filter on there? How do I get the filter off? There we go. Okay, so I spray painted these so that way, because I know that I'm not probably going to be able to do multiple pours. This is a lazy Susan. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do some resin waves on here. So let's get everything set up. Where's my... Um, what I did was I, uh, hold on one second. I got a, I just bought a new phone, so I have to, um, get this clip to go on the right way. There we go. All right. So, yes, possible labor. But first, we're going to try to make these uh, charcuterie boards. <laughs> I got so many people that are like, go to the hospital. And I'm like, no, I got to pour these oceans. <laughs> so, yeah, she like, she dropped and she's way down here now. And I'm having, I think, contractions. Hi. So, like, yeah, I'm having like contraction things and, but it's just the beginning. So, I think we can pour. Let's try. Um, <laughs> if not, then I'll stop and we'll go from there, okay? So let me get my, we're going to set everything up so that way we can just pour and go. Um, I did want to show you guys how these, uh, other tables came out of the molds, but let me get my extension cords and everything set up. Uh, I am going to do also a... YouTube tutorial on the processes of these. This is my heat gun. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> oh, hold on. I seriously think I'm going into labor. <laughs> I have my due dates on the 13th, and today's the 6th. So, <sighs> Seven days a week early, which my other one came weeks early. How am I? How am I? How am I? I put on their labor pains and resin pouring, so I think I'm going into labor right now. But we're gonna we're gonna try to pour first. <laughs> okay. So what I did with these, I have um, a video up on how I did these. And this is spray paint, you guys. Um, what I took was, I took the painter's tape. It's the sharp lines one. And I just made straight line. I'll put the video up. I'll make a TikTok with the video. That's that's what I did. Um, I recorded it so that way I can make a TikTok. But um, I just put it straight and I took a like an X-Acto knife and I just cut that and I took that one part off and then I spray painted it. So what I'm going to do now, this is a super, super easy way. <laughs> this is a super, I think this might be my last live. Um, unless you guys are in the room with me. So, uh, this is a super way to do oceans. Like you don't have to add color. All we're going to do is clear and white. That's it. Uh, we might add some tint. But probably not. So I got a couple of, I just wanted to show that it's, you You don't have to do blue oceans. You don't have to do that. I've got a pink ocean. I've got a damn lime green ocean and black. Like, I'm going to show you how to do this. And you can customize these and personalize these. When you're working with resin or you're doing anything, 
When you're trying to grow as an artist, I think the way that I scaled my business so fast and the way that I did is because I saw what other people were doing and I see that it works. It works. It sells. But you got to stand out. Like you have to stand out. You have to do your own thing. You have to put your own spin on shit. Otherwise, you're going to drown in a sea of just everybody else. Like everybody's does the same shit over and over and over and over. And me, I saw what people were doing and I changed, like I did my own shit from there. Like I, I changed things from there. A sea of sameness. Yes. I, I was thinking of that. I thought there might be a word for it, but then I couldn't think of the word for it. So this is what I like to do. We got pink and purple sea moss. This is a tuxedo sea urchin. These are real cute. Um, I had a client. He likes to scuba dive and uh, snorkel and things like that all over the the world, actually. He travels everywhere. And he sent me a box full of corals like this, like this, um, some of these seashells. And it can't really show good, but these are purples. There's a really bright purple, and these are really bright pinks. Um, this is going to be, I just took this one out the mold. So what, I was, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to flatten this, like flatten the wood down to the resin. And then we'll sand it. And if, if you don't know the processes of these, and you want to know how the hell I do it, um, head over to the YouTube. I try to make detailed, like my detailed YouTube videos. So I show you how to do the waves. They're a little bit longer. Here's another one. And this is some of the sea corals and the urchins and all of that stuff that he sent me. With the sea mosses and it's kind of dusty, but yes. And this is a custom order that I got. This is my signature Petoskey table. You see the Petoskeys? Um, this one right here, it freaking, I poured and then I left and I came back and it overflowed, like freaking flowed everywhere. Like all of this was resin. Got my drill. The whole bottom of my drill is resin. Like, you see that? <laughs> And then it got, oh, there's some. <laughs> it happens. I have people and they're like, oh, I'm so scared to pour because I'm scared I'm going to get a leak and I'm scared I'm going to mess up and I'm scared. I'm scared like I'm just going to mess something up. My advice to you is that, yes, you're going to get a leak. <laughs> yes, you're going to fuck up. Use my language. You're going to mess up. You're going to get a leak. You're going to ruin something. You're going to mess up. It's okay. <laughs> like, it's okay. I would actually push myself, like when I was learning, I would intentionally push myself to the point of mess up. But then... That would show me how far I can actually push my products that I'm using. And that allowed me to be different. Like now the stuff that you read on Google and watch on YouTube and stuff like that. And they're like, you can't do this. You can't add oil-based paint to resin. Yes, you can. And the results are crazy phenomenal. Like but I know that because I tried that. And if I was to just listen to everybody else tell me what I can and cannot do, then I would have never known. Like, I want to know what can I do with it and what can I not do with it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do easy ass oceans. OK, so let's do that. Let's go inside. Let's get some resin. I'm going to be using stone coat countertops epoxy. The reason that I'm using that for this is because, let me make sure I got my whites. Hold on. Uh, the reason that I'm choosing the Stone Coat Countertops resin is because I got 10 boards. I got 10 boards here. And um, 
the open time is it's it's got a super long open time like i think i've 40 maybe 50 minutes like and i don't need that for all these um the white that i'm using is right here it is called Right here is called armor art, but this is not what it's called. This is, um, it's not cast and craft. Fuck, what's it called? <laughs> it says armor art, but when you get it, when you buy it on Amazon, it's called something else. I'll look it up. I'll look it up and I'll tell you. Because it's not called armor art. On there. It's called something else. And it was for like water effects and stuff like that. But it's called Armor Art on the bottle, but that's not what Amazon called it. It called it something else. It's not cast and craft. It's on my YouTube. It's already linked there. So let's go get resin. Um, another good resin that I used for oceans is um, Moss. Mass. Moss Epoxy. And it is not the tabletop one. Not even Tabletop Pro. I know people use it. I used it. I don't like it. Um, it didn't have a good open time for me. So here's some of the things that I can create. And that I know I can create. That other people, like, I just, I like to do things that I stand out from other people. Let's see what we got. Let me show you. Um... A little ammunition one. This is the one that always gets me banned because there's bullets in there. You can't get to them. <laughs> like, it's just art. It's a bird's eye maple burl. Uh, let's see. Seashells, waves. I do sell them. K Workman. Yep. Um, they're up in my Facebook and Instagram shop. Uh, they're up on my website. So, yep. All these are up. Here are... These are imported. This wood is olive wood. It's from a 175-year-old tree. It's ancient olive wood imported from Turkey. Um, it's gorgeous wood. Love this, love this, love this wood. We got some bling bling handles. This one. These were fun to make. I really like this wood. This is... And this wood right here. This one. This one. And this one. These are also from Turkey. The wood is also from Turkey. But what it is, is it's... My birthday flowers. What it is, is it's from um, the pistachio trees. I didn't even know you could do pistachio wood. And I'll show you. This is one of the next tutorials coming up I almost have done. This is the Lava Gaming Desk. It doesn't have to be a gaming desk. It can be whatever we want it to be. But uh, let's see. Let me try to get some light. So if you could see, like, all of the dimension and stuff in there. Crap. <laughs> Let's see if I can go this way. Eh, not so much. So I wanted it to look like lava. It's so glossy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get you guys to get a good look at it. You can't see. I'll take a video and I'll put it up on TikTok. Thank you. I also do like art stuff like this like for babies rooms and stuff like that this is epoxy resin with the decals i airbrush on there so i do the resin like the galaxy stuff and it's shiny and shimmery and you see all the glitters and the iridescent colors and then i'll do the airbrushing of the actual photo and what else? And we got other stuff. But let's go pour some oceans. That's what we're here for. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> One more. I kind of want this table for my new house. 
<laughs> Look at it. It's so pretty. I might keep this one, guys. <laughs> if it sells before I get in there, then I won't. But I want it. I like that one. All right. Let's pour. I'm going to mix up. Use a graduated mixing cup. Um, the reason that I say graduated is because it helps you with your measurements. Like, it doesn't have to be graduated. I just prefer them. Um, so, hi. We got 28 ounces on here. So, we're going to do 14. And don't mind this. I have this up to keep the dust out. Everybody asks, how do you keep dust out of there? That sheet right there. I know it looks kind of ghetto, but... Um, my daughter pulled it down this morning. My daughter pulled it down this morning because I was pouring and she couldn't get through. And um I didn't want the dust to come from the dryer because my son had to wash his uh or uh I had to dry my son's clothes in there. Okay, so we're gonna do 14 B and then 14 A. And that would be 28. Matter of fact, I'll do 400 and then 800 milliliters. So the resin that I'm using is a one-to-one. -one. This is Stone Cold Countertops. I had it sitting in warm water. It's like a basin of warm water. Um, one of the, I actually bought a tote from Target and uh, just used that. If you want to see what I'm doing, I am pouring resin in this cup. Now we're going to go back outside. This is just a room that I have taken over and used to pour in. All right, let's go pour. I think I got everything I need. Got my cups. Got my sticks. Got my... I'm good. I had somebody ask me about acrylic paint and resin a little bit earlier in the chats. Um, okay, so, why are you peeing right there? Really? Really? That's Kilo. She just peed on her concrete, like there's a whole yard. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's gonna be a day today. How's Mercury, Mercury Retrograde treating everybody? My life has been in shambles. <laughs> okay, ready guys? Alright. So, we're going to mix. Matter of fact, let me just turn you back around. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let me get my YouTube camera up. All right, and get my paint stick. And use gloves. I know you see people say they don't need gloves. I don't need gloves. Use some damn gloves. Use gloves. Please use gloves. This is a toxic, hazardous material. Resin is toxic, okay? The resin that I use, Stone Coat Countertops probably has the most odor out of the resins that I use. Um, I know Super Clear Epoxy had a really strong odor. Um, there's a few smaller brands that I've used that had a strong odor as well. But... The the one, like the deep pour that I use in Total Boat, those are like the two that I use for my river tables. Um, they don't. Like, they just don't have a strong odor to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use clear and white. So that's how I set this up. And when I pour, I'm going to show you why I use the cups that I use. So... They got little different Dixie cups, right? 
And you can use these ones, and I see a lot of people use these, and it's okay. But I like these little paper ones, and the reason that I do is because you can bend them to get, like, that little point, and then pour like that, and I really, really like that. Um, I like that when I do my art and stuff like that. So I like using these little paper Dixies. Personal preference. You don't have to, but I do prefer them because of that. And that's why. All right, so we're going to mix our resin up. When you mix your resin, make sure you get your edges and your corners, like the, the sides and the bottom of your cup. My girl's messaging me. One second. Nope. Okay. Sorry about that. Everybody's worried about me because I'm seriously think that I'm going into labor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you're doing this, I like to have a heat gun and a torch. And the reason being is when I push the resin to where I want it to be, I don't want to push it more to pop bubbles. So I don't use a heat gun to pop bubbles. I use a heat gun to push my resin and create effects. I use a torch, a little propane torch the Benzomatic. I will link when I upload this. My due date is the 13th of this month. It's in seven days, but my daughter came at 36 weeks or 35 weeks. My first daughter. So my due date is in seven days. I went yesterday and I was feeling a little off this morning. I woke up. I was cramping last night and, uh, I figured it was just like the Braxton Hicks contractions or whatever. So uh, I woke up this morning and I was feeling other things in other places. And I'm like, okay, something's not right. Like something is off here. Don't know quite what it is. Because I don't remember the birth of my two-year-old. Like, I don't know if other people have that problem. But I cannot remember the birth of my two-year-old. <laughs> I don't remember what contractions felt like. I don't remember. Like, I don't remember none of that. Is there any ladies here that went through that and don't remember? Like, so I'm like, wait, what did the contractions feel like? What did... Because with her, my the palms of my hands were itching. Like, the palms of my hands and then the soles of my feet. They were itchy. And, um... I was on a Facebook Live, and they were like, well, how long have they been itching? So I put lotion on, I did everything, and um, sh it was two days that my hands were itching. And I had a couple people, they're like, Nita, go in now. Nita, go in now. And I'm like, what? Because my hands are itching? Like, that's weird. I was like, okay. So I went in, and they were like, yep. Uh, your enzyme levels have spiked, and it's time. I said, time for what? <laughs> like, you crazy as hell. It's time for what? Like, what? 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 <laughs> and they induced me right then and there, and I had her that night. So, um, and we had so many problems after that. Like, it was just so much crap. She had breathing and airway issues. Lottery tickets. <laughs> I know that's what I thought. I was like, oh, I'm going to get some money. That's what I said, too. I was like, oh, I'm going to come into some money. <laughs> and my uh, my grandma, my, foot, my feet was itching. She was like, you're going to kiss a fool. She was 98 when she passed. She said, you're going to kiss a fool. I said, I do that every day. <laughs> it's mixed already. Actually, it's not. So when you look at the sides, I mix epoxy. Thank you. When you look at the sides and you scrape it, you're going to see these little iridescent strings in there. And this is why people fuck up their resin. Um, I speak my mind, so if you don't like it, you can go. Uh, so when you scrape the sides and the edges, you're going to see like these spider web, like kind of, it's like an iridescent lines in there. And that's going to show you that your resin is not mixed. So, it actually takes about seven minutes to mix. 
and this is warm and it still takes a little bit longer to mix. So you can go ahead and lose hundreds of dollars or I can just sit here and mix my shit until I know it's mixed. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways. Um, okay, so we got our torch. We got our heat gun. Now I'm going to get my white and a little popsicle stick. <coughs> All right. So like I said, I don't remember what the hell this one was called. Counterculture. Counterculture. That was it. If I couldn't remember this one. It's called Armor Art on the bottle, but that's not what it's called on Amazon. It's called Counterculture. But it's so good. It's like for waves and for... um, It creates like cells and stuff in the waves, which so does the other one. But this one, I just... I've been liking this one lately. So... If you're starting to do waves and resin, I highly suggest, um, I have a video and it's called Battle of the Cells. And, late to the party, how did I warm it? I have a tote, a plastic tote, and I put about five, like six inches of water and I put the jugs in there. And that's how I warm up my resin. Um, that's it. You just... I put the, the jugs in, like, warm water, hot water, about 10 minutes before I pour. And what that does is it lowers the viscosity, and it just allows everything to mix a, a lot better. It flows a lot better. It's just... Okay. So, here we go. Let's make a mess. Don't be scared to go against the grain. Like when you're, hold on, there's a little bit that's not mixed. There we go. Um, Don't be scared to do your own thing, man. When you're doing this, like do your own thing. Like be your own person. Put your own spin on shit. Like use your favorite color. Like do things that you want to do and like to do. Don't try to copy other people. Like. Have your own vibe. Be a whole ass vibe. Like, be a whole vibe. Like, don't, don't conform, I guess, is what I'm saying. This is not into, well, get the fuck out. Who are you? You. Hold on, one second. Get out. Why are you still here if you're not interested? Get out. Goodbye. Jesus Christ, kid. Look. The motherfucker said this ain't interesting. Why he probably finna go to a 9 to 5 and get paid fucking minimum wage while I'm living my best life. And, and when I'm trying to help people for free. Like, get out of here. This has made me hundreds of thousands of dollars. And y'all... Just say thank you or go somewhere else. I had somebody ask me, like, about business and the business aspect of things. Okay, so we got our white. This is counterculture slash armor art. It's from Amazon. When I put this on YouTube, I will um, put all of the links and everything up there, okay? So what I'll do is I'll do the up, like, I'll... uh. I'll do the, let's see, I'll try to get y'all so you can see everything. All right, we'll start with this little surfboard right here. <coughs> hey, babies. So, let's see. What I'm going to do is just add resin, and I'll take the resin up to... Those lines. So. Like that. Okay. 
And the reason, if for some of y'all that is new here and it wasn't here when I explained why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it, um, I'm not sure how long I have out. <laughs> I usually do layers and I'll do the colors with the resin. Like I'll put the blues in the resin and I'll, and I'll do layers like that. But I just, I really seriously think I'm going to have the baby today. Or tomorrow, or very, very soon. <laughs> like, I think it's already starting. Um, I'm just trying to get these done first. And um, I just don't have time to do layers, right? <laughs> so, all right, so I'm going to start here, and then I'm going to go across. Um, I suggest that if you're just starting out with, like, waves and stuff, try... If you see my video, Battle of the Cells, I did a bunch of different techniques and I used different products and stuff like that to show the different effects that you get from using the different stuff. Like I used acrylic paint and I used uh, oil-based paint and water-based paint and alcohol and spray paint and... Like, just all types of stuff, just to show you the different effects that you get from the different products, right? Well, another thing that affects it is the amount of product that you actually put into your resin. And the reason that it affects it is because it's the weight. It changes the weight, so then the it drips down, like... The way that cells are created is the white goes down into the resin and then that's how the cell is created, right? So the amount of pigment you put into the resin is going to change how your waves and your cells and your lacing looks, okay? So I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm just going to warm it up. I'm not pushing anything yet. I'm just going to warm it up and it'll push easier like that. And then I'll start to push. All right, so I do do little touch-ups, and the reason that I do is because I like the front to be frothy and, like, just kind of like the way waves really are, like when you go to the water. Um, I miss Florida, not going to lie. So, uh, I don't know, I do a lot of what reminds me of Florida beaches. And I'm just going to mix what I just put. Like, I'm just kind of, like, mixing it together. Okay, so let me show you something real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. I want to show you what just happened and what's going to happen with the torch. So you can get cells. Let me take this off. All right, let me show you. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm using. You can use the little ones. You can use the big ones. I'm over here at home these days if you need anything. Where's home? Oh, Emmy, is that you? Is that you, Em? I'm moving. I think I'm in labor, Em. <laughs> okay, so this is going to create cells right here. Watch. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm horrible with the camera. I'm trying to hold it. Okay, can you see the cells popping up? Is there a filter in here? Hold on, let me try to get this filter off. There. Okay, so this is gonna create cells. The torch.
and that gives you that lacing and sell effect, you see? All right. Thanks for the gifts. All right, cool beans, y'all. All right, so let's continue. We're going to go. Um, one thing. So when you don't put a kind of paint out, like down, your wood's not really sealed. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if you add heat, such as a torch or a heat gun, um, you can actually create bubbles coming out of the wood. It sounds really super weird. You might have done it before if you've ever worked with resin or anything like that. Um, so if there's no layer, like right there, right there, um, yes, I will keep you guys posted for sure, for sure. But you can actually create bubbles if you keep the torch on there for too long. And I see some bubbles here, but we've got enough open time. And I'm just going to go through... And I'm going to do the rest of these. And I'll let you guys watch. If you have any questions or anything, just ask. I had free with my stuff. I don't try to gatekeep anything. There we go. All right. Have I? <laughs> I've been going through quite a bit. Quite a bit of crap. Um... It is what it is, though. I'm going to turn you around. Okay. Did I show you guys these already? Did I show you guys these coral tables? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Look at that. God, that's so pretty. This is my favorite. It's purple and white, and I love that damn thing. Okay. Let's go. All right, I'm going to put you up on here, and then we're going to pour. This is the other wipe that I like to use. It's got really, really cool effects. It's called Cast and Craft. I really, really like this. Okay, so Cast and Craft or Counterculture are a couple of my faves. All right. So if you got any questions, just go ahead and ask them. Otherwise, I'm just going to pour, okay? And I will try to, I'll pick up the camera and show you guys like cool little shit along the way. But for now, I'm just going to get resin on here. And... Oh, y'all liked it. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to do these ones. I have people ask me, how much resin do you use for what? Um, and it just depends. If you need it to self-level, resin self-levels at one eighth of an inch. So that's about three ounces per square foot. Um, so, you take your measurements, it's length times width times height, and that's how you get your measurements. I'm also going to do this lime green one down here. I'm going to take that one down, and I'm going to do this one instead. I'm just going to set it up on a couple cups. All right. Okay, no. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just take my hands and I'm going to make, like, push the resin where I want it to be, go up to the colored parts, like where the color stops, and that's where I'll add the white. So just make sure, I see a lot of people that just use their hands. Epoxy is a hazardous material. Like, it is 
I don't care if you never got a reaction from it. It's still hazardous, you guys. There's so many warnings on the bottles and labels and... Just be careful, please. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to be taking this up to the lines. I'm using Stone Coat Countertops Epoxy. If you're just getting here. Um, no, I'm not sponsored. I don't have any links with them. Uh, none of that. I just like the resin. I like the results that I get. It has a long open time. So that way I'll be able to do all of these boards with one pour. Like one, one mix. Um... And I like the results that I get from it. Like, it's just a really good resin. It's heat resistant. Um, good for what I sell these for. All right. And all I used underneath it, I prefer Rust-Oleum spray paint. I don't know why, I just do. Um... I really like their spray paint. I have some of the Krylon paints. I don't really like the glossy ones. I do if I'm doing the countertop or something, but for something like this, I like the matte colored um, spray paints. I just do. Um, the, the other ones, I don't know. I just, I prefer the matte uh, finish. I think I did use glossy black on this lime green and black one also i did a i had people asking me i'll do a tiktok of it later um i had some of my followers asking me about baby like the baby and stuff um i made a an Amazon wish list thingy for the baby because, well, she's coming, <laughs> like, probably today or tomorrow. Um, so I did an Amazon wish list for the stuff because of me moving in the house and starting over by myself and, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's going to be hard and not being able to work for those six weeks. Which I'm sure I'll still sneak out into the shop and do this kind of stuff. But I'm not going to be able to lift and do the orders that I usually do. But I will try to keep busy and just do what I can. I'm nervous as hell because moving into a new house as I'm having a baby. Like, whew, I'm scared I'm not going to be able to do it by myself. Like, and I'm not... I know I got people to help, like, I'm not by myself, I just, not being with their dad is scary, like, <laughs> that's scary, and having a newborn and being responsible for new babies, and, <laughs> being told you can't do something for so long makes you question yourself, even though you know you can. And I know I got it in me. I know I'm strong enough. I know I'm talented enough. I know. But when you're just told and told and told that you can't, well, as much as you don't want to believe it, you start to. Okay. This one's cool. I did this one. This is the glossy spray paint. I used lime green and black for this one. So one more thing, when you're doing these, break the tension everywhere that you want the resin. So I want the resin to run down the sides of these boards. So I'm going to break the tension of that and just get it there already. So when I push it with the heat gun, it just automatically, there's no tension there. It's just going to flow. It's just going to go, okay? So I got all these boards are done. They all got resin on them. Now we're going to get the white. And 
I'll take you one by one and show you what I do. I have a peel box though. Yes. Okay, ready guys? Let's pour. Um, we're gonna take the white. And I'm gonna get this camera set up right here. So what we're gonna do is, remember I said I like these Dixie Cups. Yes, positive affirmations, motivational stuff, like all of that. I'm all into it. <laughs> I've been trying to reset my brain um, just from the negativity and narcissism is really hard to uh, heal from, it's, it definitely takes a toll, even when you thought that it didn't, and you took your power back, and I, you know, there was things that I thought I was doing, and it just wasn't making the difference that I thought it was, like, if that makes sense, I don't know if that Makes complete sense, but I'm going to put a wave back here and back here. All right, guys. So. Oops. going to warm it up. Like I thought I was taking my power back and I thought I was doing everything I could. And though it probably did help in some ways. It just didn't, it just didn't do what I thought it did. You're doing your countertops? Do it! I'm buying my first house too, yay! <laughs> it's so exciting, isn't it? Hold on one sec. I want more white. I did not put enough white. There we go. Don't be skimpy on the white. Like, don't be skimpy on the white because that's going to determine how thick and full your waves are and how far back you can push them. So I could see when it was pulling back from the color in the front that I didn't have the, the amount of white that I wanted on there. And I'm going to do two layers of waves. So this is my first layer. The second layer will start when the first one ends, like where it ends. And I'll add a die to it to add depth and dimension. All right, now I'm going to clean them up a little bit. And when I say clean them up, I mean like the edges and the lines. I'm just going to clean up so that way it's more uniform and it just looks like regular like regular waves. This one will be up there. And I'll blend this in. That will get blended. That will 
I'll show you some of my oceans that I have done so you can know that I actually do know what I'm talking about. And at the end, this will actually all look good. It's a process, though. You got to trust the process. You feather that out a little bit, and then when you hit with the torch, you're going to create. Yes, practice first. Always practice. Practice makes perfect, seriously. Like, But practice on stuff that you can sell. <laughs> like, that may sound funny, but um, grab a sheet of MDF. Like, uh, that's what I did. Grab a sheet of MDF. This creates cells and lacing right here with the torch. If you're just coming in, that's what this does. This pops bubbles and creates cells and lacing. Um, but yeah, grab a sheet of MDF, cut out some rounds or like some rectangles or whatever. And um, yeah. Like, you can sell it with as art. Like, that's what people do. And then you'll get your practice. And you won't be wasting money. Um, if you have a Cricut machine or something like that, uh, that also works. Like, that's how I do my other arts. I keep kicking myself out of the live with my big fingers. <laughs> All right. Right, 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 right. That's funny. That's the shit I would do. All right. Okay. And I just like to smooth this edge out. And the reason being is because, like, it kind of looks choppy if you don't. Like, it gives it this, like, choppy, weird look. Yep, just grab, yeah, that's what I say. Like, grab some MDF. That's medium density fiberboard. If people don't know what that is. And uh, go to town, man. Have fun. Like, get your colors down. Get your technique down. Like, just have fun with shit. Warm it up before you push it. See how I warm that side up and it push? It just pushes a lot easier. One second. There we go. I'm dipping my cup in the resin as I go. <laughs> I'm not meaning to do it. I'm just doing it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Ooh, sweet. I got an old house. Oh, my God. I love it. It's like 
It was old as hell. I don't remember. Was it the 1800s or something? It's old, but it's so freaking cute. Just warm everything up. All right. Okay, other side. Let's go to the other side. How are you and baby doing? Uh, I think baby's coming today. I think I'm in labor right now, babe. <laughs> Dead ass serious. Not not even being funny or trying to joke. I think I'm in labor. <coughs> not sure. All right. Let me move my camera, my YouTube camera, to the other side. Or I'll just put it right here. Matter of fact. Okay, guys. This morning, if something was terribly off, like, I just feel pressure and... Uh... Just, like, things are off. Like, my body feels really off if that makes sense like we know our bodies and we know like something just feels off all right i'm gonna go down the line and just do all of If they feel the same, then yep. Just wait till your water breaks. Okay, so hold on. Let me read it again. When you're having a contraction, tap your index fingers to your forehead and stomach. Okay, I'll try it. But yeah, they're super mild. Like, that's why my mom was like, you're going to pour? Because I stopped over there this morning and I was like, okay, I think it's time. I said, it's not time, time, I said, but I give it like 24 to 48 hours. And she was like, not even that, like <laughs> tripping. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's time. All right, so let's push, 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 push. See, when I go back in and do the touch-ups, I'm putting the white back over the blue where it pulled back. Like, you see how it pulled back over here? Like, I'm just adding, like, I'll go back and I'll put the white back over there, like, over the blue where it pulled back. Just so that way it's consistent and it looks, like, realistic.
It's okay. I remember I go to the dance to maintain your pressure. And when I arrive home, holy crap, really? <laughs> I got my bags packed. Actually, this morning I packed my bags. It is fun. I love my job. I'm going to put this this way, though, so I don't get the... I have so many plans for when I get in this new house. Like, I am just going to push myself in ways that I never have. And I just see... It's going to be so much... I was depressed. Like, I've been so depressed for, like, so long. And I've still accomplished what I've accomplished. So imagine me healthy mentally and emotionally. Like, and happy. And I can just imagine where life is going to take me. Like... <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I don't know. I just got huge, huge, huge plans. And <sighs> I feel it. Like, I feel like shit is just going to be good. Like, I just, I can feel it. I really can. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to um, just make sure that all of the edges are, like, consistent the way that I've been saying like, uh, that it's not pulled back from the color. I don't know if you guys can see me down here. I'm making my way that way. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just look at it like if I can accomplish what I have, being depressed. Imagine what I could do if my mental was actually where it should be. Like, that is just crazy. Like, the sky is the limit with this. Like, I think with everything, if you, I don't know. I'm excited to see where I can go and where this path and journey takes me, honestly. Especially with my new little family and I'm excited. Gonna be making some new introductions at the at like when when I come back from having Kaylani and I'm in the other house, we'll be making some new introductions and you'll see. <laughs> oh boy. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna run through and do the, I'm just gonna blend this and then we'll go through with the torch and make cells. The hospital's got, like, messed up visitation stuff right now. It sucks. It's like you got to pick and choose who can come up there. Two people the whole time, and I got to be there five days. So, there we go. Oh, we got one more. I wonder if I got enough white for this one. Hmm. Kilani. 
Is your daughter-in-law's name Kaylani? Who's Erica? Oh, Erica. <laughs> Artist till death. I didn't uh <laughs> I didn't see who was commenting. Thank you. That's not good. I'll try. We'll try. Hey. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, th I really think these are contractions, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey. At first, I just thought she was, like, moving weird down there. Like, nope. I definitely think I'm having a baby. <laughs> As I'm pouring epoxy. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm a mess. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny to me. All right. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. And I got resin on my hands, and I should have wore gloves, and I didn't. All right. I'll do a second layer on this one. It's going to need it. All right. Torch it. Torch it time. All right, you guys. I'm going to hit it with a torch. And that will create, like, the cells and the lacing and stuff. Like before bed around 11 or midnight and um, do a second set of waves we shall see what is gonna happen like I said I think I'm going into labor right now but don't know <laughs> popping bubbles So when I come back out to do the second layer of waves, what I'll do and what I do is I'll start the second layer like here and then push that one back the whole way and I'll use a tint and when I use the tint, it's going to add depth to the waves that are underneath there. So it looks white right now. It'll be a transparent tealish blue color and when it comes up, it will just look like there's waves underneath the water so that's how you get the depth and all of that stuff so i'm gonna go probably and get checked now because <laughs> um, i think i'm having a baby uh peel box yes i will make a i will make a tiktok as soon as i get off here i think it's 1693 it's on my facebook page um if you go to nita's fluid or search fluid wood one word fluid wood and facebook and my peel box is right there i'm pretty sure it's 1693 vassar michigan um 
but yes. Vassar, V-A-S-S-A-R, Michigan. And I think it's 1693, but I'll make a TikTok about it real quick, okay? All right, you guys. Emoti. 